baby, y'all. Home of the brave. Home of the gunners. Let's go. Gang, gang, come on. <laughs> to the Arsenal, through to the next round, no penalties needed, come on. Match day, we're at Castle Green, Dagenham United versus Frankfurt A, top two teams of the league are battling it out, obviously I think that we're going to win but you know, we'll just wait and see, it's going to be a good game, um, bro, let's just get it man. Well, if you're winning, I won't have to come on and save you. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. <laughs> come on, I'm risking my hamstrings for the seat. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get the risking the hamstrings. <laughs> what are you saying for today? Well, I hope for a double win. We haven't lost yet, but you know, go work hard. Work for the squad, not for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Come, come on. on. Well, it's pretty simple today, man. Enjoy the fucking game. Enjoy the day. Yeah, you guys have been absolutely excellent so far. Absolutely excellent. Each week you go away and you astonish us. Things that you've learned, how you develop, how you've been managing games. Okay? Today's another game, alright? It's another game where we want to get three points max. Yeah? Where we want to come away with something minimum. Alright? But I mean something, something more than zero points minimum. Okay? I know you guys got the mindset. Today we set up early. Alright, today we dominate from the beginning. Great performance last week, I have to say so. I think you might have played your way into the starting lineup. Yeah, maybe, man. I didn't expect it. I can't lie. Didn't expect it, fam. But you, take you it. earned it, fam. So, yeah, yeah, I've got to take what, it, you, what are you thinking about today? How are you feeling? I don't know, man. I feel alright. I feel like getting another win. Yep. Just keep strong. Yeah, man. Just getting another win. Just stay strong. Oh, I see your focus, man. I yeah, like it. I like it. Come on. One of the leaders, one of the captains. How are you feeling about this, this game today? Top of the league, top of, top of the table clash. Yeah. Listen, this is the days you live for, isn't it? 100%. These are the days that 100%. you want to, these are the matches you want to play Have you seen anything from them that we should, should keep an eye on? Listen, I've spoken to Wayne already. they got good forwards, but we got good forwards too. Do you know what I'm saying? And we're top of the league for a specific reason. Yeah. Because we're a good team. So we're going to show that today. And three points, no less, man. There we go, there we yeah? go. I like that, I like that. Free game snack as usual. What is it today? It's the, it's the Christmas Raiders. edition Raiders. Okay, okay. I'm a Raider defense tonight. <laughs> 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 just to scare them, man, innit? <laughs> And here we go. This is an Essex Alliance Premier Division matchup against the two top teams, the two undefeated teams in the league, the two giants. And this game, we will see who will come up on top. And from early on, we were getting on the ball, linking up play from Dami there and trying to connect passes. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out there. But you can see what we're trying to achieve. Here again, we link up play, but just here they take us out. Trying to slow us down from playing our football. Carlos has a shot, but it's... It is there throwing, but we win the ball first and we win the ball second. Carlos gets on it and spreads it wide to Keenan. Keenan controls it and lays it back to Carlos. Carlos sees a little pocket and lets it rip, but again, it's... Here we get a throw in into the box, half clearance from the defender. Carlos finds Mike on the ball and he has a crack, almost finds the corner. Great save from their keeper. And from a throw in, they decide to play their centre back. But he loses the ball and the keeper tries to clear it, but Daz picks it up, sees the goal. 
and he scores what a fantastic strike from Daz that makes it 1-0 to the front foot and in the words of coach Wayne And soon after we scored, we're right in behind again and Raph is competing to get the ball. Half clearance from the defender and Izzy is just taken out in the box and that is a penalty. And as usual, Izzy is on penalties, he steps up and slots it in the bottom left corner. That makes it 2-0 to Frontford A. Let's go! We knew a 2-0 lead isn't enough against a team like Dagenham United and that the second half would be even more important than the first. Early in the second half, we're flying down the wing. Joel's on the ball and he cuts it across the goal. Danby blazes it over the bar. It's two more time. Whoop, whoop. Shortly after, Daz puts in a beautiful cross into the box. Keenan's on it and then there's a whistle. But it's from another pitch and Keenan stopped thinking it was our ref. Oh, this game is too crazy. Ball over the top, Joel's in behind, easy peasy, but their defenders just get there before he has a chance to pull the trigger. And again, we get a great cross in and Joel headers it on target, but the keeper is in position. And yet again, we get in behind. Goalkeeper makes a great save and Iz tries to get onto the ball. He sees Ness, picks him out. Ness tries to cut in on his left, but the defender just gets back in time. And the move starts from the keeper. He rolls it out to Arsh and he has all the time in the world. He picks out a pass. Ness is running in behind, past the defender. He looks up. He cuts it across and the defender finishes it off. So it's an own goal from Dagenham United, which makes the score 3-1. Frankfurt A are two goals up. We get a throw in into the box, lay it off and Ness hits it first time. And the keeper makes a fantastic save. And the continued pressure from Joel led to another own goal that makes it 4-1 Frankfurt A. Dagny United have a throw in in the attacking area but we're hungry even whilst we're 4-1 up we are still hunting the ball down. Is does well to keep it and even when Daz is getting pushed with two arms he keeps going. We play out from that corner and it's just beautiful football to see. And it gets all the way to the point where we could get in behind, but obviously the flag goes up. <laughs> and here Dad shows a great bit of skill, flicks it over his head, but he uses his hands to get back into the play. And he's tackling from behind and somehow ends up with a free kick. Are you serious? Play anywhere, can play anywhere, shutting down the wingers, man. They get a last minute attack and they're in the box, and the player goes down and gets a penalty. But that looked like it was well defended by Callum and Yinka. So we definitely need to see the replay on that. And from the replay, it looks like the attacker wins a pen by kicking our defender. Wow. And here's another situation where we get fouled and we don't get the call. And it's the moment you have all been waiting for. Great tackle from Iz. And it's an Izzy segment alert. Let's go. Gone. No words. Just gone. <laughs> And right into the end, Dagon United kept fighting, but they also kept fouling. And this is just one of the last two examples. Here's the second one, where one of their midfielders just goes in. This time the ref had enough and he went into the book, but that isn't enough to stop us. And Frankfurt A wins away to Dagon United 3-1. 
4-2 in an all-important match to decide who solidifies their position at the top of the league. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope I got that. I don't know if I got it. I don't know if I got it. I saw it. I saw it. That was bad.